Hey, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com. It's Wednesday, October 15th. I wanted to look at two things today. I wanted to give a tip on dealing with highly volatile markets uh, that you may or may not know already. And then uh, two, uh, or I guess I'll do it first. I wanted to, people ask us about swing trading uh, quite a bit. I thought it'd be an interesting time to look at more of a, of a wider swing trading type of a chart rather than the daily chart which we look at because we've had such such a, uh, a volatile uh sell-off over the past five days or so we've been down some 150 points just in the last five days and even at the from the low today to where it looks like we're about to close it's it's gone up some 40 points so it's just been really volatile uh, period in the markets here and so I wanted to look at it from a swing perspective if you recall this here what you see here is last Wednesday where we had the Fed announcement and had that big rally the very next day we gave it all back and then from that point forward we have been you know selling off here and what I've got on this chart I've got it pretty pared down and this is a 15 minute chart by the way you can use this on any time frame uh, I've just got the level three or what we call extreme buying and selling aggression bars which would be these level three for selling these uh, the, the, the pink for selling and the dark blue for buying level three that's extreme buying and uh, extreme selling and I've also got these what we call high velocity moves these boxes here called high velocity moves and just these alone on a bigger picture chart give you a pretty good handle so you can see and I also wanted to point out a couple of what we call mini battles that you can see right as the Fed announcement was happening last week we had this basically level three selling bar and then a bar later or so a level three buying bar setting up a little battle you can see we moved to the to the upside we had to move down the next day here's another one of these little mini battles if you will right in here um, and then there was another one this here's another one that happened just a couple of hours ago here where you can see we have the level three selling bar um, after we'd already had a lot of these high velocity moves earlier in the, in the day we got this level three selling bar the very next bar we had this level three buying bar and you can see the battle basically was one to the upside so for the last hour or two the market's been really rallying it's rallied some 30 40 points so again just kind of looking at this from a longer term perspective and looking at these ideas of when these high velocity moves come about uh, with follow through or a level three bar with follow through a level three buying bar with follow through it's a pretty good sign I mean and even some of these little things I mean if you look at this bar it look doesn't look like much of a move that closed at around where did that close just for example that closed at around 91 you know it went up some 15 14 15 points just and that's just you know a small move so these wider time frame level three bars can can be pretty powerful so I just thought I'd point that out for the people that might be uh, in swing trading shifting gears a bit um, wanted to talk about dealing with some high volatility markets which we've certainly had when the markets going up or down 30 40 points the ES for example and they've all been doing this lately uh, that's uh, that's high volatility so the way that you can manage that is either you know stand aside and wait for things to calm down or if you want to maintain your normal dollar risk what you need to do is, is two things reduce your position size and then widen your stops and targets so just as an example let's just use the ES where the tick value is twelve dollars and fifty cents per tick would apply to anything let's just say for example normally you trade six contracts and you use an eight tick stop okay six times eight is 48 so you have a total of uh, you know eight ticks times six contracts is 48 tick ri of risk times twelve dollars and fifty cents is six hundred dollars worth of risk okay let's say the market's a little bit volatile you can cut that down from six contracts down to four contracts and widen your stop to 12 uh, 12 ticks still the same dollar risk on that trade but you've given yourself more room to maneuver with the extra volatility let's say it's even more volatile you can cut your position size in half and double your stop size still the same dollar risk or let's just say it's incredibly volatile like a FOMC or like it's been lately you could you know go as far as to cut this down uh, you know a third to a third of the normal and why you know triple your um, triple your stop size and you've got a, again the same dollar risk per trade you've just given yourself more room to move so again kind of a quick uh, quick video hopefully that's helpful wanted to just touch on two quick topics uh, let us know if you have any questions on that thanks